it's your boy Drifty. This is Catch My Drift Podcast, and I'm back with another video for y'all. I appreciate everybody that subscribes, everybody that leaves a like, a comment. Man, it goes a long way. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm going to keep coming with this fire content, these fire stories, as long as y'all keep coming to watch them, man. That's a fact. So today's story, I'm going to tell y'all about how sometimes it's better to be alone in a county jail than to have friends in a county jail. You feel me? I'm going to tell y'all why. So I was in the county. I had to do 90 days. You feel me? So I was in the county 90 days. I'm, my first month was a breeze. I wasn't talking to nobody. I was going to get my commissary. I was doing my push-ups. I was just on the phone. I wasn't talking to nobody. No inmates or nothing. I was staying to myself. I wasn't getting no problems, no drama. I was. This is going to be a breeze. 90-day breeze. You feel me? As, as, as breezeful as it gets. You know what I'm saying? Because it is jail, and that's, that's an awful place to be. So 30 days into my bid... They, a bus load comes, a bus full of people come, and I know two of them from my neighborhood. So, you feel me? It was refreshing. I ain't gonna lie. It was refreshing to be able to talk to somebody and see how what's going on in my neighborhood, any current events, because they was just out there. You feel me? So, we talking. We chopping it up. They telling me every, all the news, all the, all the drama that's happening, all the beef, pause, no ditty. And um, so, we it's comments every day comes. Thursday. So we all go in there, we all get commissary, we all come out with big bags, big commissary bags. So I'm like, all right, all right, we all good, we all good. So about three days passes, and one of my homies asked me for a suit. Now listen, y'all, the, the, the kind of bag we had, three days, I don't care if you, you eat, you can eat as much as you want, you ain't running out of everything in three days. So there was some funny, some foul, some funny business going on over there, I'm like, how was he asking me for something? We just got it the same day, and he ran out already. So I ain't, I ain't my, I ain't care. I gave him the soup, but I know if I ever ran out of anything and I asked him, he'll do the same. So I gave him the soup. So a couple days go by, a couple days go by, and I see him. I ain't see him in a couple days. I see my other homie, but I ain't see this homie. We're going to call him Jay. I ain't see Jay in a minute. You feel me? So I, I, I see Jay from deep. So I'm like, yo, Jay, yo, Jay. He kind of looked back, like, from the side, like, I only see half the side of his face, and he like, one minute, one minute. So I'm like, yeah, I told my homie, like, I'm going to just call him P. I told P, yo, let's go with Jay, bro. He like, yo, bro, I don't know, I ain't seen him in a minute, bro. I don't even know where he's at. I said, he right there. He said, he gonna, he said give him a minute, he's going to come over here. So we wait, and we wait, and he finally comes up to us, and as he's walking up to us, he's, like, walking up to us like this. And he finally, like, turns to so I can see his full face. And he got a crazy cookie right here. Like, I'm talking about black and blue crazy joint. Like, he just was, like, he just had a boxing fight. Or a bare knuckle joint. And it was just, like, I was like, yo, what happened, bro? Like, I was instantly like, yo, what happened, bro? I was tight. Mind you, I only had, like, 40 days left on my bed. I'm like, what? what's good with you, bro? You, you, you all right? What happened? He's like, yeah, bro, I just got into a little situation. I'm good, though. I'm good though, but um, ain't, yo, y'all got um anybody? Yo, can I borrow fifteen dollars uh, um commissary of you? I give it back. I give it back to you on commissary day. I'm like, you need to borrow fifteen dollars worth of commissary from me, bro. What happened to you? So at that point, I'm like, what happened to your commissary, bro? He like, oh, I I ate it all, bro. I ain't. I just I just need something to to hold me down to the next commissary. So I gave him. I gave him it. I gave him the fifteen. But when I walked in there and I gave it to his cell, it was a couple people in his cell that I ain't, I didn't know. And I know he didn't know because they don't live in our hood. Uh, these guys are from like D.C. or somewhere. I know for, for a fact he didn't, they didn't know him. So when I walked in, they just got up and walked out. And I gave him the, I gave him the, the, the stuff. And I'm like, yo, bro, who the, who, who them people? He like, nah, I ain't go, he like, nah, I wasn't going to tell you nothing, bro. I, ain't, I don't want you in my palms or nothing, but yeah, they've been running down on me, and they've been trying to extort me, I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, bro, they've been running down on me and trying to extort me, and one of them got it, one of them came in my cell, and we had a, a squabble, and he, he, this is what he did to my face, I'm like, what? They ran down on him, so what they was doing was, they, they, they ran down on him, extorted him, they ran down in his hotel, told, in his hotel, sorry, y'all, they ran down in his, <laughs> in his cell, and they told him, listen, bro, you got to pay to live here. And if you tell anybody or you 
You feel me? It's gonna be over for you. They had, I guess, they pulled out of you know what, and held it to him. And he was, she was, he, he didn't want no drama. So, of course, me finding out this information now, me and me and P, me and P got to handle this. You feel me? So I get, I, I leave out the cell. I give him the stuff, and I ask him before, I, before I gave him the stuff. I says, "This for them." He's like, "Yeah." So I was about to take it back. Honestly, I was about to take my stuff back. But I ain't want them to, you know what I'm saying, run down on him and do nothing to him while I wasn't in the cell. So I let him keep it. And sure as day, as soon as I get into the cell and I walk to go tell people what's going on, they came back in, this, in his cell, got this, the stuff that I gave him, and they left. So I tell P, like, yo, this is crazy. They running down on him. They got him extorted, bro. Like, this is, he from the land. I ain't letting this rock. I know I got 40 days left, but I ain't letting this rock. And P, he agreed with me. He was like, nah, I don't, ain't, we ain't, ain't doing this to Jay. So we go to J Cell and we like, yo, bro, we got your back, but we need you. It's 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 like five of them, it's three of us. We need you, bro. So you feel me? We here. We all going out. We all we all rocking out for you. So I go up to them dudes. We we walk up to the cell after lunch. Uh, lunch lunch happened. We we I'm talking about them. I'm telling them. Because we had to talk Jay into it. Because Jay was, he was he really didn't want no no problems. I think he had like 90 days as well as me. So he was on, he was going to be out too. He didn't want no problems. He didn't want to extend his stay or nothing. So we talked him into this. We like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching him. I'm getting my stuff back. And I'm getting your stuff back. And I'm telling him, and, and we're going to end this. They not doing this no more, bro. We not, we not rocking like this. So after lunch, I woke up to their cell. And sure enough, all five of them is in the cell. Like, they knew what was about to happen. And I get in the cell. I, I knock on their door. They're like, yo. I'm like, yo, it's Drift. They open the door. I'm like, yo, let me. I can't. They see the dude. They see Jay. They see me, Jay, and P. They're like, oh, they, they already knew what, what time it was. So I get in the cell. And I'm like, yo, this is my homie. This is my homie, Jay. This is my homie, P. And my homie, Jay, say, y'all running down him, extorting him, telling, yeah, trying to get him to pay for trying to get him to pay for his stay here. We ain't doing none of that. None of that. He asked me for he asked me for a loan and I gave it him off the strength, but that's my homie. I ain't know he was I was he was paying y'all off. So I'ma need whatever y'all he owed y'all, I'ma need that back. Cause that was mine for I I get that to him. I ain't get that to y'all. So they like, well, your homie, oh your homie gotta pay to stay here, man, cause he ain't he I he should when we ran down on him, that's that should have been his his response. But that's your response, man. If it was, that was his response, we would have got it popping, and that would have been the end of it. But he, he ain't. That wasn't his response. So I'm like, well, this is our response, bro. And I saw the bag that my stuff was in, and I went to go reach for the bag, and I grabbed the bag, and I said, this is my stuff right here. I'm taking my stuff back. This is my homie Jay. This is my. This is his homie P. We not rocking with none of that. However y'all want, however y'all want this to play out, it could play out like however. I got 40 days left. I'm trying to get up out of here, but. I'm willing to risk whatever time I got to risk for my homie Jay. We ain't going, we ain't going down like that. And they respected it. They respected it. it they had their looks on their face. They didn't look like they was gonna respect it, but they respected it. They respected the fact that it was three of us, five of them, and I walked in there and I'm defending my homie. But it could have went left. They could have smashed on us. We we would have put up a, a good fight, but they could have smashed on us. They could have poked us up all that they could have did us dirty in that cell and i would have never been in that predicament i would have been in my cell eating on the phone still i'd have been chilling still if my for homies didn't come to that thing didn't, didn't get locked up with me you feel me didn't come to my jail if i wasn't bothered with nobody i'd have been st still fine that's why i'm trying to tell y'all if you ever find yourself in the county jail which i hope you don't man just do the right thing just stay on the right path do the right thing don't wind up in there but if you ever do, try yourself. Try your hardest to be by yourself. Stand on your own tent. Stand on morals and principles to be on your own too. Cause other people's other people's friendships lead to other people's problems. You feel me? And you, other people might not rock out the way you gonna rock out for your respect. So yeah, that was my story, y'all. It's your boy Drifty. This is Catch My Drift Podcast. If you mess with that, my stories, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And then catch my drifting. I'll catch you on the next drift.